behind me is BC Canada Place, and it's essentially a log cabin plunked down in the middle of an historic Italian the town. The log house has been a runaway hit. It's almost like it's another venue at the Olympic Games. The crowds just keep coming. They're fascinated by it. I'm standing once again in front of BC Canada Place, such a popular tourist magnet. Visitors get a quick taste of BC through videos and a 240-year-old spirit log. This blend of Mother Nature and leading-edge technology is already luring thousands of visitors and potential investors. It's all about finding a unique way to sell BC to the world. It's a cheeky move, boldly promoting your own upcoming Olympics during the current ones. Well, so far it's a hit, drawing an average of a thousand people a day, showcasing BC from its raw resources to its high tech. When it comes to free publicity, it doesn't get much better than this. This morning, British Columbia was front and center on NBC's Today Show. Thousands of people have come through this cabin, 10,000 this past weekend alone. An endless lineup in and around BC Canada Place. It's one eye-catching piece of British Columbia that's turned into a star attraction here. Dal Canada a Torino, in regalo, lo chalet. Stile British Columbia, che ha accolto 100.000 visitatori, ha promosso le Olimpiadi. It is one of the most popular spots at the 20th Winter Olympic Games in Torino, Canada. People are invited to come and experience the culture and tra tradition of Canada, and a lot of fun to be had there. An enormous screen that shows the beauty of Vancouver. And Vancouver was getting the kind of publicity that money can't buy on American network television. NBC, the U.S. broadcaster for the 2010 Games, is already beginning to sell us, with Vancouver's mayor and the premier making oh, their pitch. Oh, thank you very much. And we're looking forward to coming to Vancouver in 2010. Well, Let's go now and see what Tom Green has us has for us in Torino. Okay, so we're here in front of British Columbia Canada Place. Uh, this is uh, similar in a lot of ways to a Canadian refugee camp, actually. The live hit, which reached millions of people internationally, was just the latest boost in what has been an amazing run of PR opportunities in Italy. Everyone's talking about British Columbia Canada Place, so it's been pretty successful for us. Canadians should be proud. So many visitors to Turin wanted to visit the pavilion made from B.C. trees. Inside the log house, the Premier's heading up another Made in Canada initiative. Premier Gordon Campbell initiated the meeting that was attended by representatives from five countries. They hope to pass their Olympic experience on to future host cities. There's substantial investments by any government uh, to make sure that a Games takes place, and it is important for the long-term, I think, future of the Olympics and the communities that there be a return on those investments. At BC Canada House, BC wood manufacturers meet with architects and engineers of Torino 2006. No country has done this before, but it's working. BC Canada Place is a runaway hit. But it's one they believe will pay off billions. It's hoped by creating a buzz about Canada now, foreign investment will start to pour in for the four years leading up to our Olympics and for at least five years after. The provincial government thinks this is the first time the host of an upcoming Games has promoted itself so visibly and so aggressively during the Olympics. We're going to take advantage of the fact that we're going to host the 2010 Games to shamelessly promote British Columbia around the world. Well, many communities around BC have entered the race to try to attract athletes and potential business to their areas. Some have come all the way to Italy to try to get a head start. At BC Canada Place in downtown Turin, a reception hosted by the city of Surrey. The Comox Valley is also trying to capitalize here. 80 BC companies have been using the place in Torino to wine and dine potential customers and having meetings on everything from biotech to video games. The long-term goal is to, perhaps for the first time ever, fully realize the promise of hosting an Olympics on the business side. So what's the return for British Columbia taxpayers? In the short term, says the province, more tourism. I want to see Vancouver, this is for, for sure. So I'd like to see Vancouver. We have over 80 BC companies coming here to the house to do business. So long term, it will be attracting investment into British Columbia, which we will track over the next few years. In the meantime, thousands of Italians are learning about the province and the country through a mix of iconic images, many you'd expect, and at least one, the daily drop-in street hockey game you might not. Our federal and provincial tourism ministers and Van Ox John Furlong chased the ball. Sunday street hockey at BC Canada Place. The Premier and some of Canada's gold Olympians playing in the last unofficial event 
of the 2006 Winter Olympics. Premier Gordon Campbell presented the Governor General with a little present, outdoor wear suitable for wearing at the next Winter Games. Canadians are ready and raring to go for Vancouver in 2010. All I have to do is wear the funny hats. Arrivederci. Yeah.